What's up, guys? So some big, big, big news just came out 15, 20 minutes ago, maybe 30 minutes ago. And this is unbelievable. It's probably one of this is going to be probably one of the most important live streams that I ever do. Because what's happening all around the world is going to be happening here. And smart investors understand what is happening. And everyone else is essentially asleep and they don't. So what unfortunately is going to happen, I think, is a lot of people that want to just ignore the reality are going to have a rude awakening. And so my goal with these live streams is to, to bring real truth, real value to the audience so that they can then make smart financial decisions. And that's what it's about, long-term wealth. And a lot of people, unfortunately, are going to get pushed in a corner to where that's no longer achievable. Take a look at this here. I'm going to say what's up real quick in the chat. What's up, everybody? So take a look at this. One second. So this just was announced today, right? So it's a, a full-fledged mandate, right? But when you read this, it really is quite fascinating because it's not just this country, right? So they're going back into it, right? Plans to become the first to make it mandatory, right, to live there for all eligible people, right? So it's going to be – and then what they're, they're talking about here, which is very fascinating, is that they're saying that we look to impose a requirement – from February 1st, right? So for 34% of the population, right? And this first Europe this fall starts Monday, lasts for 10 days. Um, we don't want a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, right? So everyone can see that this is going to continue uh, escalating. It's going to get uh, much more intense, definitely, without a doubt. But what they're saying here is that they're saying that coming to force the 15th, again, this is CNN. So details are still to come from what age and when you're, this is important, when you are considered fully. So this could definitely change. There could be additional, um, you know, enhancements that might need to be done uh, to be considered fully. But they are saying that they are, they use this word, that nothing should be ruled out, right? But when we look at this right here, so it's not just Austria. So in Austria, it's going to be uh, mandatory starting February 1st, right? And the penalties are not clear what's going to be put in place. Indonesia, sweeping mandate to attempt to accelerate, right? But this is very interesting. So the people that are on stimulus, the people that, uh, on, that are on unemployment benefits where they've gotten really comfortable, maybe haven't worked as much, these benefits, if it's happening in Indonesia, I personally think that it could happen here because it seems like everything is kind of on the same page and it all bleeds together so perfectly. So again, this is Forbes.com. So I only use very credible mainstream articles that you know we can look at. So residents could be denied social assistance, government services, and harsh financial penalties. So essentially reaching in your account, right? Because if you don't pay it, they have the, just like the IRS, they can do that. Um, uh, Micronesia is a small island, over 100,000 people mandated it, right? Requiring federal funds, a large portion of the adult population to prove it, to receive their checks. To receive their checks. Right? A few countries still claiming, right? So all eligible, right? But Costa Rica became the first country in the world for children in early November when officials said... Um, right, officials announced lower age limits, green light the use of young children. So that's going to be coming. Uh, governments around the world tuning the heat for those still refusing. Uh, increasingly, they're targeting strict measures to boost it, including restricting access to public spaces, no longer covering health care costs if they contract, and mandating mandates cover the entire population. So what we're going to see happen. I believe is that we're going to get a little uh, a 
a little bit of a back and forth in America. But when we're having that happen and then we're having this, listen, listen to this, because this happened yesterday, right after I did my live stream. Um, one second. From the, youth, from the young communists. You grow out of it with age. Oh, okay. Uh, from the, youth, from the young communists. You grow out of it with age, automatically. Did, did you did you did you send him a letter though resigning? Senator, this was many many years ago. As far as I remember, how the Soviet Union worked was at certain age you automatically stop being a well, member. Could, could you look at your records and see if you can find a copy mm -hmm. of your? Senator record? Kennedy, I don't I don't interrupt. I almost never interrupt these, but. Well, you always Best interrupt me, Mr. No, I, I don't. I'm not I'm nearly as many times I want like to No, I, I, she, she renounced her Soviet citizenship. Well, I understand that, but you're not the witness. She is. Would you look at your records and see if you can find a, a letter of resignation for me? Senator, um, as I explained, I was part of the Soviet population. Yes, I got that part. I just want to see if you look at your records and see if you find a letter of resignation. Let, let me let me tell you what I've spent a lot of time on your record, and and here's what I found. Now, look, this is America. You can believe what you want, but we can't just let anybody be controller of the currency. You wrote your thesis in college at Moscow State University on the title was Karl Marx's Economic Analysis and the theory of re revolution in the capital. But you won't send Senator Toomey a copy. You studied at university, at Moscow State University, scientific communism, which is the science regarding the working class struggle and the socialist agenda. In 2019, not 30 years ago, in a Canadian documentary you called the financial services industry, quote, a quintessential whole industry. Um, you wrote a paper called Systemically Significant Prices, calling for the federal government to set wages, food, gas prices. In 2020, you wrote a paper called The People's Ledger where you said we need to abolish bank accounts and make everybody set up an account at the Fed where the federal government will have access to your data. In 2020, you wrote another paper called The Climate Case for a National Investment Authority, where you said what we need to do the oil and gas industry is have the federal government bankrupt so we can tackle climate change. In 2019, you joined the Facebook group, a Marxist Facebook group, to discuss socialist and anti-capitalist views. Now that's what I see from your record. And you have the right to believe every one of these things. You do. This is America. But I don't mean any disrespect. I, I don't know whether to call you professor or comrade. Oh my goodness. So I mean, it's quite unbelievable, right? To me, this is incredible. That is Biden's choice, who is essentially going to have the, the power to vote out banking. So what I'm saying is if I'm looking at CNN.com and I'm looking at Forbes.com, and they're saying that they're going to start issuing financial penalties, right? If they don't do certain things, citizens don't do certain things, then the big question I ask myself is if Saul Amarova does become head of the OCC, right, uh, Office of Controller, and they do push forward this uh, Fed coin, which is going to be a digital dollar, only controlled by the Fed, and then if we look at what's happening in places like uh, Indonesia and places, let's see here, Indonesia, where they're basically, they're cutting off social assistance, uh, government services, harsh financial penalties, right? 
the beautiful thing about America is that you can have different bank accounts. You're going to, you can have uh, gold, crypto, you can have all of these things. But if Saul Amarova is going to get her way, and then we see things that are happening here, like, you know, Micronesia, you know, they have to show it to get their checks, right? So, I mean, like, I'm literally just looking at the facts here, which country is still claiming it's compulsory, right? So, uh, I mean, they're restricting access to public spaces. Like, what does this mean? Like, no shops and nothing. Um, healthcare costs, yeah. I mean, they literally could just cancel your healthcare costs. So, I think that uh, I do genuinely believe that what we are going to see is going to be a harder America in the next year. I think things are only going to continue to progress in this direction. And I share this information again only for the sole reason of preparation. That is it. It's not to scare anybody. You look at just look at the the news. If you actually look at the news and, and don't a lot of people shy away from it because it's too intense. But if you look at it and you see what they're trying to do, the writing is on the wall. You got to make smart investment decisions today to be sure. And what I would consider a great investment right now, I think that everyone should have, is some gold. I think everybody should have some hard, solid gold in your possession, silver in your possession, some crypto in your possession. Having assets that only you control is going to be important. You don't want to have all of your eggs in one basket because let's say that Solomarova does in fact take the OCC and what do, what do you think is going to happen? There's going to be a massive flood for people to get money out of the banks. And if we look at, you know, even I saw something on TikTok yesterday with Grant Cardone. He said in 2010, the bank that he uh, had mortgages with like 40 or $50 million in mortgages went under and the new bank, took over that loan and they demanded repayment of the entire amount. And he didn't have the money and he almost lost everything over it. So it, it's interesting because it, it makes me wonder how far does this go? What happens to all the, the financial commitments to these banking institutions in the event that Saul Amarova does in fact get appointed by Biden, which is a very big possibility. Again, I'm not, I'm not like trying to scare anybody, but at the same time, I don't want anyone losing money. You know, I, I see so many financial channels on YouTube saying, invest in Dogecoin, invest in Shiba Inu. Like, what do you think that these coins will do in the event that everything continues moving in the direction that it's going to? People are going to get out of coins that have no utility. They're going to get out of investments that have no utility that are based like purely on speculation. And people are going to put money in things that they can fully control that have utility, that have real value. And they're going to be investing wisely and they're not going to be speculating because consumer confidence is going to plummet and everyone's going to get scared. You look around and you see what's happening in all of these countries. Like we all know that we're on the same team, you know, so what's happening there is very, very likely to continue happening here, even though we're going to get the runaround on, you know, some of the new mandates. They're going to say it, it is approved. It's not approved. Um, you, you don't need it. You do need it. But I personally think that we are going to continue progressing it, or really it's progressing in their eyes and America is going to continue changing and it's going to be a game of survival of the fittest. It's really going to become like a, a full survival of the fittest game. What do you guys think about this? Um, someone said, I'm going back to investing in tulip bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> um, grow food and water. Yeah. I mean, someone uh, commented on my page yesterday, like, Hey, I'm growing food inside of my basement. And I said, you know, that's like having a gold mine in your house. If you can do that, that's amazing. Um, uh, someone said gold will not be legal tender either to circumvent your alleged hedge and you know it. Well, gold has been around since 500 BC. It's been used. It has real value. Um, I believe that gold will be something that will probably hold value a hell of a lot better than the dollar because I think the dollar is going to be going down um, over the next couple of years as they begin rolling out all of these new social uh, packages, these welfare programs, um, universal basic income, they're going to continue plummeting the dollar because what essentially happens when you plummet the dollar is that you force people into a place of real dependence. That's it. So 
the more the dollar dies, the more dependence there will be, and the more dependence, the more obedience, and the more control. It all goes together. Um, who wants to trade a, a bar of gold for a loaf of bread? Well, so I wouldn't use gold as a means of, uh, you know, as a, as a currency means. I would use gold as a store of value, and I would use silver, and I would use other uh, metrics as uh, transfer for food, for clothing, and all that, and bread. I wouldn't use, you know, gold. Gold really, because you literally have to give, like, flakes of gold, and, and that's not practical. Um, let's see here. But it is unbelievable, though, some of these really, really big changes that they're pushing forward um, with Saul Amarova. I can't believe that, I've, that I'm alive to witness this. I can't believe it. Because you think about how big of a modification this would be if all the banks were completely closed, which is what Biden is trying to push forward, and there's only one account with the Fed. That is it. So they may only give you know, loans, they only may do certain things for certain people because they have all the power. They have no competition. And that's what the intention is. That's what they talk about. They talk about ending banking as we know it. And then we see what's happening right now on Forbes and on CNN. And they're saying that they're literally cutting people off financially and penalizing them financially from, you know, from everything. So as they say specifically here, they literally say that it's going to be restricting public access. It's going to be no longer recovering health care costs. So if they just say that, you know, you got this and when really it may be something else and it's a $20,000 health care bill, you might be in trouble. That might be a problem. Um, so it's interesting that they this all dropped today. So this was announced today. And I wonder how far this goes and where this goes. But when I see headlines like this, nothing should be ruled out. That That's scary to me. That means that there is, there is nothing that's off the table, right? There's nothing that's off the table. So the question I ask myself is what happens if there's 20% of the population that just says, hey, you know, no, I don't care. I'm not doing it. If there's nothing that rules out, what, what do they do? You know, I'm not guessing or I'm not going to put anything out there, but you use your imagination. I don't know. I don't know. It's very interesting. I have one of my friends who is 100% left, very, like, very, very, very left, he believes everything that the mainstream says. And he even, like, texted me yesterday. He's like, this is crazy. And this guy's like, you know, full-fledged, like, um, he agrees with everything that the mainstream says. And even he's messaging, like, hey, this is crazy. And I'm like, eh, no comment, you know, like, what do you say? Things are only going to get worse because I told him, hey, this is what's going to happen. This is what they're going to do to the dollar. This is what's going to happen to the economy. These are the changes that are coming to real estate. These are the changes here. And he thought he called me Kanye because he's like, oh, you're crazy. You're crazy. And now he's like, all right, maybe you're not so crazy. Maybe you're on the money on all this. And it's like, you just put no emotion into it. Like my, for me, when I look at things, I don't put any emotion into what I'm seeing. I see it for what it is and I call it for what it is. I don't, I don't try to change the narrative. And a lot of people read something, they just want to completely write it off as not true. If Biden and Saul Amarova and all of the mainstream media are talking about, hey, this is what's happening and this is what's going to happen. And then you say it's not true. But then you look at all of the other things that they said were going to happen have already happened. It is true. It's all in step. They're all moving together. So things will, uh, things will escalate very soon. Um, someone said that you're not going to outsmart the plans. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not about outsmarting. It's, uh, it's about not making mistakes when mistakes, certain mistakes can be avoided. There's some big, big mistakes happening right now, I believe, uh, across all. I think we're seeing a bubble of everything right now. Let's say. The everything bubble is happening across stocks, across crypto. I mean, they even had like a, it was like a, a mouse or a monkey or something trading crypto and he was making money. Like this is how the market's so crazy right now that anyone can make money and everyone's overly confident. And, you know, if you invested almost anything two years ago or a year ago, you've seen a profit on it. Uh, let's see, why do you allow foreigners um, if the grid is fried with Bitcoin? 
Uh, someone said you'll own nothing. I honestly think that the smart people will own, and the smart people, even in like the middle class and um, lower on the economic scale, they, they will own something if they're not falling into the steps laid out. I was in Mexico here. I'm going to show you guys this. Because this video here, I said, I'm going to screen share this. I said on this video, right here. On this video here, I was in Mexico and said, right here. I was in Mexico here and I said that, imagine if this happens right now, because I was talking about how Zuckerberg sold stock every single day of 2021 up, up to the point of this video and Bezos and a lot of billionaires are selling stock. Then, you know, two and a half months later, Elon sold like 8 billion in Tesla stock. But imagine if what they're doing is simply just propping up the money supply to a point to where people get overly confident in the market, then everything comes crashing down. And then at that point, there's a massive level of dependence where people have no choice. It's almost like a, an alligator in a riverbed where you know a harmless little animal thinks that they can go up and get a drink. Imagine if that's the actual economy right now, because nothing makes sense. Look at the economy in Japan, look at the economy across the world. Everything is an artificial bubble, and it's one printing, just one big, big printing game with no real uh, metric value. But uh, it's it's uh, it's a fascinating time to be alive. It's a fascinating time to be an investor. Drop your comments down here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is in fact going to end very, very badly for uh, for everything? Like, I do think that gold's going to hold well. I do think that gold's going to hold well. I do think that I think we're actually going to see a massive run up on gold um, and a massive run up on silver. I think so because I think what happens is as they continue printing money, you're going to have a lot of people that say, "Hey, I want to get my money out of the banks." Especially if, if that lady Solomon takes over, there's going to be a big, big flood. And I think a lot of people are going to take money out of the banks. It could push banks into financial hardship because so many people want to take money out. But it'll be interesting to kind of see. It'll be interesting to kind of see how someone said uh, uh, gold only has the value they put on it. Um, gold, because my gold's been down for ages. Yeah, so uh, one interesting thing though with gold is if you look at the actual chart of gold in 1971, at like 10x, then 2000. 2000, it was skyrocketing during the internet bubble. 2008, it skyrocketed during the economic crash. When people get scared, they put their money somewhere that, you know, that history has proven to be safe, you know? So I think right now, yeah, um, I think right now it's going to be a very, very big game of wealth preservation going soon. Probably the next, the next month and a half, what we're going to see is we're going to see more and more and more of this, where this becomes, again, this is CNN. CNN, right? I mean, this is going to impact millions of people. Millions. But I think the most important thing that people need to, to read here if you get anything from this is that what they're saying here is that they are going to let's see here it says that they are going to details are still to come from what age and when that that's the scariest part here when you are considered so they they could just continue moving the post. So we're going to see this really, really interesting uh, dynamic of, of how people view the world and how people um, react. We're going to see people lose their businesses over this. This is not a small thing that's like, kind of happening. It's happening everywhere. Um, you know, as of today, it's Aust Austria, Indo, Micronesia. I mean, all these places. It'll be interesting probably... Uh, you know, a couple other the big names that we're all familiar with, what's happening there. Uh, what we're going to likely see is we're going to see dominoes start to drop country after country after country next couple months. 
But yeah, um, pay attention. I'm going to keep you guys updated though. Anything that's going to impact you guys financially, anything that's going to touch you guys in the wallet, I'm going to update you because you know, I'm reading this stuff four or five hours a day and putting out videos that are going to help you guys. So I'm going to give you guys the quick summaries and let you guys know so you guys can you know invest wisely and make smart financial decisions before you know it becomes so obvious and everyone else is already panicking. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Hit the like button. Uh, turn on the notifications if you want to join my next live stream and consider subbing here. I'll catch you guys later.